Dear students, it is your new class from the book of financial accounting. In this class, you will get information about the journal, ledger and trial balance. Already videos on balance sheet and income statements are available to you. So what is the journal? As far as definition is concerned, it is a book of original entry or you can say it is a book of prime entry where all business transactions are recorded on daily basis at the first instance. So whenever transactions happen, it is the responsibility of uh, bookkeepers or accountants to record all such transactions immediately on daily basis. So that's why it is named a book where all transactions are recorded chronological basis or you can say on daily basis. Students here is detail of journal. So you can see on your screens the journal format comprises of uh, normally five columns. The very first column that is shown on your screen belongs to year, month, day. In the year, month, day column, first of all you will record the year in which all the transactions are happening. Next to year there is a month in which transaction happens or next to month there is an accurate date on which transaction actually happens. Next to uh, this column there is a transaction detail column. This column uh, explain the name of account which is being debited and name of account which is being credited. After the debit account and credit account, the third line which is called narration line. This means a short description of particular transaction. After that, there is a ledger folio column. Now next to the ledger folio column, there is a debit amount column and respectively credit column regarding that particular transaction. The process of entering or recording the transaction in journal is called journalizing. So you can say journalizing actually is a technique with which bookkeepers through a systematic way or through considering the following principles record or enter the transactions. Record of each transaction in journal is called journal entry. Once again I am going to repeat record of each transaction in the journal is called journal entry. So once we record that transaction in that specific book, it becomes an entry. So you can say it is a journal entry. Here comes for your more understanding rules of debit and credit regarding personal accounts, real accounts and nominal accounts. Dear students, the rules for personal accounts are debit the receiver, credit the giver. Now the rules for real, real account, debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Next, nominal account, debit all expenses and losses and credit all gains and incomes. Now the question arises, what is personal account, what is real account and what is nominal account? So all the accounts related to customers, suppliers, money lenders are known as personal accounts. So you can see in simple words, the accounts which are linked or associated with customers, suppliers and money lenders are your personal accounts. And on the other side, the accounts related to building, plants, furniture, machinery. So these are your real accounts. Next to that, the accounts which are known as nominal accounts. These are the accounts about the expenses or you can say about the incomes, gains. So it is that account which express losses and gains of the organization. Now in this shield, I will explain few advantages of journal. Journal provides a chronological or you can say date wise record of all business transactions at one place. 
it means all the data in the journal compiled on the day basis so that's why it is called chronological book as well as next transactions recorded as and when happen so next journal facilitates preparation of ledger account it means with the help of journal accountants would be in a position to prepare another book which is ledger book so journal serves as evidence in court of law next transactions recorded with narration reason for each transaction can be ascertained with the help of journal so students uh, next is ledger after the journal ledger is called a book of all accounts where all accounts are kept also known as book of all books or you can say mother of all books transactions recorded in journal are finally carried to ledger it contains all the accounts of a business whether real accounts personal accounts or nominal accounts here comes the format of uh, your ledger the left side is debit side and credit side which is the right side on debit side the first column is of date column next to that there is particular you can say it's a detail column next to that there is a j.f it is called journal folio or you can say journal reference and next to that debit amount column all columns are very much similar on the credit side here comes few distinctions between journal and ledger the first distinction with the heading of nature of book journal is a book of primary entry and ledger is a book of secondary entry means first of all transactions are recorded in journal and secondly posted to the ledger second point of difference with the heading of basis of preparation journal is prepared on the basis of source document and here source document is voucher but on the other side ledger it is prepared on the basis of journal it means when journal is available then you could be able to prepare ledger otherwise not next point of difference with the heading of object journal is prepared to record all transactions in chronological order but here in ledger it is prepared to know the net effect of various transactions affecting a particular account so that's why it is called a book of accounts next point of difference with the heading of balancing journal is not balanced but ledgers ledger accounts are balanced next heading is narration narration is written for each entry in journal as i just mentioned earlier on narration is short explanation so in ledger no narration is given finally the sixth one name of process journal is a process and this process is called journalizing process ledger it is the process of recording in ledger and this process is called posting process now the finally the trial balance now you can view a format simple format of a trial balance in that format you can see the four columns the very first column is a serial number column next to that column account detail column and then debit column of accounts and credit column of accounts now students you can see uh, both debit and credit column figures are equal it means your trial balance is arithmetically correct here comes a short definition of trial balance is a statement containing the balances of all ledger accounts as at any given date arranged in the form of debit and credit columns placed side by side and prepared with the object of checking the arithmetical accuracy of ledger posting so after maintaining or after getting all the balances from the ledger accounts we post all those balances on a sheet 
and that sheet is your uh, trial balance sheet so you can see all the balances taken from the ledger accounts are transferred here on a sheet on a piece of paper and that piece of paper becomes your trial balance here are few features of trial balance it is a statement or a schedule it contains debit and credit balances if the trial balance does not agree it points out that there are some errors it can be prepared only after balancing all the accounts in the ledger so when ledger accounts balances are available then you can prepare trial balance otherwise not it is prepared to check the arithmetical accuracy of books of accounts here are a few objectives of trial balance it provides you the arithmetical accuracy it helps you in preparation of final accounts and it is a summary of all ledger accounts which you have taken from your ledger book but uh, this trial balance also having certain limitations few limitations are on your screen there are certain errors which are not disclosed in a trial balance so trial balance does not provide detailed information about ledger accounts next it is not a substitute of financial statements so you can say it just provide helps in making of financial financial statements but it is not a substitute of financial statements so dear students it is all about your accounting cycle already you can get assistance from my previous uh, two videos about balance sheet and income statement now this video will help you to get assistance about what is journal what is ledger and what is trial balance if you have any query you can ask me goodbye